The piece is titled Farewell Song to Frederick Douglass. The music was written by Julia Griffiths, the lyrics by her brother. Farewell to the land of the free. As far as we know, this sheet music is the only complete copy in the United States and only one of two complete copies in the world. So the music was written in 1847. Frederick Douglass had just spent 18 months in Scotland, Ireland, and England. At this point in 1847, he's getting ready to return to the United States. He's homesick, he's looking forward to seeing his wife and children, but there's also a little bit of trepidation because of how well known he is and because he was still technically a slave. He returns to the United States, um, and then just a few months later, he is in Rochester starting the North Star. The song compares the United States with England, and the United States does not come out looking better than England in the song. So there's definitely some concern for the environment that Douglas would be returning home to. And there's also a lot of warlike imagery and words used in the music. 14 years before the Civil War here in the United States, but there's definitely a lot of violent imagery in the lyrics to the song. Then in 1850, the Fugitive Slave Act is passed, and so now you have a situation where people who are for example, um, running Underground Railroad stops out of their homes are in more danger. don't know how involved Frederick Douglass was with the creation of the song. I would love to know whether he had a say in the image of him used on the cover of the music. It's very striking. I think this is a piece of music that he probably um, was aware of, had heard performed, whether it was publicly or in someone's home. We know that he loved music. As an archivist, just I love it as a physical object, but just also thinking about it for the questions that it raises. Watch if I'm drunk on the cup that awaits me. Bitter foretaste already